Hi, I'm Parker, the co-founder of Twos, the best place to write things down. And if you like writing things down, you should try Twos. In this video, I'm gonna share the new features we added in 2025, the new app that's coming out in 2026, and why we're rebuilding. Let's talk about that first. At the end of 2024, Google let us know that we would no longer be able to make updates due to some outdated libraries. And since our Android app has never been our best app, we decided to take some time to think while still building for iOS and web. Since then, we've decided to complete completely rebuild the application using the most up-to-date libraries. This ended up being a good decision because in November of 2025, Google actually took down our app so people on Android can no longer download it. We will be coming out with a new iOS and Android app as well as a new web app in 2026, and I'll share more about that at the end. Now let's talk about the new features we came out with in 2026. The first update is one of the best features I think we've ever added to Twos, which is this new chat feature, which allows you to chat with your twos, similar how you can chat with chat GPT, but it's all based on the information that you've put into twos. So you can say things like, what are Pearson's parents' names? Pearson is my new sister-in-law, and it will basically just look through your things and tell me that Pearson's parents' names are Chris and Finley. You can also do things like, what are Pearson's brothers and sisters names and I'll see that Pearson's brother is Will and her sister is Bonnie. The more that you put into twos, the more that you write down, journal, record experiences, whatever it may be, the better chat will be, the more informed chat will be. We originally put it out in beta where you had to opt in to use it. Now any new users are automatically opted in. You can opt out if you don't wanna be a part of it, but it's an amazing feature, so we hope you enjoy. The next feature that's been really good is we improved our twos Chrome extension. If you just go to the Chrome Web Store, you'll be able to download it and then you'll just have it available here. You just tap the button and you can save it. Some of the improvements that we made is it supports dark mode, so it just looks a little bit better when you're in dark mode. You can now add to a specific list. Usually it would just default straight to today, but now you can search and add to a specific list. Like maybe I wanted to add to my twos v4 list. You can also highlight text, right click, and save to twos, we add it to the right click menu. And you can also capture an entire page with this button. The next feature that we added was automatically tagging things that you save from the Chrome extension, or we also have text and email, a WhatsApp integration, Siri as well. Any integration you use to save information now gets tagged. So you can see here I use the text integration, here I just use the Chrome extension. And you can quickly find any of the things that you maybe searched via Chrome or via text in your tags. You just click on your tags and you'll find all of the things that you saved from those locations. The next two improvements that we made were security and privacy improvements. Now, if you go to a list and you try to collab with someone, if the person is not following you, it's just an invite that they have to accept. You can't just add someone to your list directly. The other thing is Two's World is now follow only. It used to be everybody, things that they published to Two's World. Now it is just the things from the people that you have followed and that they approved for you to follow. It's still completely public on Android because we weren't able to make any updates, but on web and iOS, this is how it is. It really cuts down on the noise. We actually made this change because it was people were like spamming Two's World. Another Two's World improvement we added was the ability to find people based on your contacts, which is only on mobile. We already had translations, but we have added, specifically we added Danish, Catalan, Hungarian, Tamil, Czech, Greek, Bulgarian, Brazilian, Portuguese. We have some more that have been requested that we haven't put in yet, mainly right to left languages. We also made a few improvements to our alerts. We added second alerts, maybe you wanted a week before and then the day before. We also added the ability to customize. So if you wanted two minutes a year before, you can also specify in the settings, there's a default alerts. So if you know that you always wanted an alert, maybe two minutes before or 10 minutes before, whatever it may be. So every new reminder that you create will have that default alert before the reminder time. Also for all day reminders, we allow you to turn off the all day reminder. I think it's at noon by default. You can change what your default all day reminder time is for specific reminders you can remove it we've also had what we refer to as smart suggestions and we added a few more like podcasts 
search Google, say I wanted Joe Rogan experience. You just write things down. We create smart suggestions. This would be for to do because it's talk to Joe. But for Joe Rogan experience, we have podcasts for things like products. It will suggest you search Google or Amazon or whatever it is. The last feature we added was a thing called Ramble. This is actually from Todoist, but you can just say, I am shooting a video. I'm going to need to edit the video and I'm also going to need to post the video. You can stop rambling. Usually you can use just a voice to thing where you would just speak and it would just pick up your words and put it into one thing. Here we take what you say, AI analyzes it and says, these things were normal things, these things were to-dos. It'll even do reminders, although they're just the smart suggestion reminders. All right, now let's talk about the new app we're coming out with in 2026. You can see the fun new little logo. I have the Santa app icon, so custom app icon. Cons. We'll talk about that here. The whole update was just around simplicity for writing things down, capturing things. There are a few things that are highlights of the application. The first one is this capture view. We like to think of it like searching Google or chatting with ChatGPT, but this is just for writing things down. You can do things like, I love the new capture view. That thing will be added to your day. You can actually pick what day or list you want to add these things to. This is cool. It's really about just getting things off of your mind so you can get back to your life. The next thing we added was different list sorts. Those are in just the list actions. You can see the sort option. Add to bottom is the default, but you can change your default maybe to add to top. You can order alphabetically and you now can do auto sort, which a lot of people asked for. We also made photos a lot better if you do photos choose from library. These are some funky jams that me and my friend share back and forth. You'll see that the photos are added immediately. We store them locally and then store them in the database so that they can be ac accessed on web. I already see them show up on the website, but they're just much faster. You can do them offline. I added some photos while I was flying yesterday. We also cache photos. You can still view them offline. We added this new remember view. You can customize it to exactly what you want. It's just a way to remember things. So we have some new features within the remember view, like memory of the day, a memories card, which allows you to see random memories as you go. And there's also a things card card. It's just the latest things that you wrote down. Another thing that we added was a things view. It's just the things that you most recently added. So if you can't find something, check your things view and you'll be able to find it. We also added the ability to select multiple lists. So this is great. I was, I was testing. We have some default lists. So you can see I can select multiple lists at the same time, delete them or add them to another list to organize them. I can share them all at once or I can join them. You'll see some of these new cards at the top. They're for onboarding. You may have seen some of the animations in the bottom bar. There's a little animation there. We have animations when you're creating things. There's some very subtle animations when you're selecting things, but we never had really had animations. We have a timeline view calendar, but it basically shows your things in this three day view. You can do a month view. You can do a week view. That's been a really nice addition. We're gonna figure out how to put it in like the actual today view. We improved the share extension. If I go to Chrome, this was a article that was put out about twos. If you ever share a link or text from another app and you click on new twos, You'll see that you can edit the text right here. It doesn't open the app. You can also pick the list that you want to add things to. And if I go back to my twos at the bottom of my day, I'll see that thing that I just shared from the share extension has been saved with the link. We also made some big improvements to our widgets. So you'll see here, I'm using the memory widget on that view. I have my day widget. There's a to do's widget. There's a reminders widget. There are a few different widget options, sort orders. You can choose a specific list. They're also interactive. So if I check this thing off here and then I go into twos, we'll have that thing checked off. You can have multiple widgets like I showed you with the memory. We also have lock screen widgets, which I won't show just for the recording. We also support the clear and tinted widgets. We also have this 
actions widget, but you can basically customize the actions that you want to take, whether that's chat, search, create a list, create a thing, create a to-do. We also added the ability to highlight and scroll to things. So here's my memory from the rework book. But if I click on that thing, it will load that list, highlights that thing so you know where you were looking. But that works from notifications, reminders, even within the app, if you click on like a starred thing, it will take you to that list and scroll and highlight to that thing. Another improvement that was highly requested was the ability to search settings. I use military time, but let's just say military. We'll see that it finds that even if it's not what it's called. Let's say ramble is something that you can turn on. So maybe I search for ramble. We made a minor improvement to chat. Let's say events this week. You saw the chat working on web, but you can now actually select results. Like maybe I just wanted to share those two things and then I can come down here and I can share them, I can copy them. We did that for chat and we also did that for AI. Let's try monthly review. Let's, let's ask AI about that and let's not even put in anything. Let's see what it says. So it gives me some sort of response. Maybe rather than using all of this, I just wanted to use steps one and two. You can select those things, insert them, whatever you would like. The other thing we added was called the fun zone, which you can actually get to from the capture screen. If you just click on the coins or you click on the streak, it will take you to what we refer to as the fun zone. It has a day streak. It has clues that you can earn coins by completing. You earn coins just by writing things down. You can refer friends. We have a whole host of different customizations. We have features that you can unlock. We have a new subscription option. And we also have these top up packs where you can buy coins and bucks in order to redeem them for features and customizations. We also have some cool stats. Just a few last things that we've added so far, but if I go to the customizations, we have custom confetti where you can pick from a bunch of different things. Maybe I want the middle fingers or I want the peace signs. I like the peace signs. The wallpaper, so you could see that I'm using the lamp, which is actually really cool. It changes automatically when you go dark mode, but you can customize the background. You can use your own images. You can use some of our defaults. The blue one's the default. Those just cost coins. You can use the custom app icons. That's the default, but choose Santa, string, different color options. We'll add a lot more customizations, but that is the new app that's coming. Again, it's all based around simplicity and quick capture of things. So you can capture more things. You can share and remember more things. But what's coming in 2026? So we'll have the new iOS app. Once the iOS app is out, we will be putting out the Android app. We're gonna be working on a new web app. Some of the major improvements to that that have been highly requested are things like custom keyboard shortcuts, potentially a public API. After the web app, we will be coming out with the desktop app and that should include things like Siri integration, widgets, hosting on the app store for auto updates. We might be adding an Apple Watch app Reminders, improvements that people have been asking for, like specific days of the week, custom sounds, locations, integration with Apple reminders. People have also asked for custom app icon badges. So based on things like overdue to-dos or total to-dos. Undo, redo, that's been highly requested. Cloning things. So currently you can add things to different lists or add copies to another list. You might see add a cloned version of this thing. So you can update it in multiple places. And then just chat improvements in general. Chat is something that has gone through many iterations, but you could see things like creating reminders, creating lists, updating information or adding information or deleting information. And then the personal models. Thank you so much for vibing with us. Some of you were with me while I was initially vibe coding the new app. Thank you for being patient with us on Android while we figure all of this out. We put out some updates and new features in 2025, but the majority of the time was spent on the new rebuild. So thank you for just for your patience, continued support, using twos. Our hope for 2026, getting these updates out, but also just that you write things down and you remember more of your life and you have it to share forever. Let us know in the comments what features you would most like to see moving forward. Let us know your thoughts. Let us know questions that you have that I didn't answer. Happy Tuesday. Happy New Year. Happy 2026. We love you.